New plot. Royals send distress signal to Harry about Oprah interview. After photos of Harry and Meghan's visit to Oprah's home were leaked, the royal family immediately turned on a panic signal. A prominent royal commentator has revealed that Buckingham Palace is engaged in unusual behavior, which is said to flatter Harry and Meghan to give up that burning interview. Commentator Daniela Elser has detailed the unusual actions of the royal family that are worth pondering for fans. First, Buckingham Palace tried to reveal Charles and Camilla's feelings of joy at meeting Archie and Lily. Before that, many sources said that Charles and Camilla were too busy to pay attention to the Sussex family. They did meet, but only for a short time. Experts commented that it was just a perfunctory meeting of Charles for Harry's family. He really didn't want to waste time on it. However, every wording was changed after the royal family witnessed pictures of Harry and Meghan at Oprah's house. They said, The future king and queen were very, very emotional when they saw Lily and Archie. They admitted, It was fantastic to see them. It was wonderful to have them back in Britain. It's hard to believe these royal excuses. Most people agree that they have given the Sussexes a terrible estrangement during the Queen's four platinum days. Expert Duncan Larcom said, Harry and Meghan were horribly humiliated at the Queen's mass. They were demoted to the second row behind the Duke of Gloucester. In addition, they were completely separated from four key members of the royal family, Charles, Camilla, William and Kate during the Queen's Thanksgiving ceremony. This leaves them lost and hopeless. In order to justify their estranged behavior, the royal family veered into the presence of Lily and Archie. They say, The prince, of course, hasn't seen his grandson Archie for a bit of time, and so it was very, very, very special to have some time with him. He hadn't met Lily, his granddaughter, and so to meet her was very emotional, a very, very wonderful thing. Commentator Daniela Elser immediately asked, what grandparent wouldn't think that was a good day all around? This is an embarrassing royal lie when it comes to Charles and Camilla's feelings when meeting their grandchildren. Daniela stressed the return of the Sussex family did not make his day better. They should review their contradictory statements. Before the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, the royal family said Charles felt extremely anxious about the return of the Sussex family. He even thinks it's not entirely appropriate to bring Archie and Lily back into the royal family at this point. Charles is tasked with protecting the Queen's image during her heyday. Therefore, it is understandable that Charles is worried that Harry and Meghan will ruin the royal party. He even held an emergency meeting to discuss measures to stop the Sussex Circus. How could Charles's concerns about the danger of the Sussex family turn into the emotional meltdown the palace had said? It was just a blatant excuse to flatter Harry and Meghan. Daniela Elser used six varies in four sentences. That has to be some sort of effusive record. The whole thing reads like the sort of frothy briefing an L.A. publicist would give a supermarket tabloid, not the sort of fare that normally comes from the royal houses. Ask yourself this, when has a royal mouthpiece ever voluntarily gushed before? Daniela also points out that the palace has praised Harry and Meghan's financial success 
as they have paid off $4.2 million on their own to repair Frogmore Cottage. This may seem a bit strange because in the past two years, the royal family has never cared about the debts of the Sussex family. After Megxit, the couple was completely cut off financially from Charles. That means they have spent their own money for the past two years. It seems that the royal family is very scared of Harry and Meghan's actions in the U.S. They are fed up with the violent waves that have robbed them of their reputation. Buckingham Palace is looking for ways to please Harry and Meghan, nothing but self-deception. Daniela Elser also cleverly mentioned that the Queen stood up to Meghan's defense against long-term allegations by royal staff. In March 2021, Buckingham Palace decided to conduct a serious investigation into allegations of bullying of the Duchess's staff. Initially, the palace promised to release the results of the investigation soon and make timely adjustments. However, just a few days ago, the royal family announced that they would not make the results of this investigation public and officially closed it. When asked why the allegations were buried, the royal family said, the queen thinks there has been too much trouble surrounding Harry and Meghan. These allegations should stop to calm things down. It sounds like the queen has tried to stand up for Meghan in the face of a wave of backlash from royal staff. Experts believe this act of the palace pleased Prince Harry. He will feel more relieved that the royal family has learned to appreciate and protect his wife more. However, Buckingham Palace has secretly corrected the royal staff policy and kept it leak-free. An annual meeting was held on June 29th to improve the royal staff policies. A senior member stated, I'm not going to comment on the changes that have been made to the policies and procedures. I'll just say that the policies and procedures have been updated. Because of the confidentiality of the discussions we have not communicated the detailed recommendations, the recommendations have been incorporated within policies and procedures wherever appropriate and policies and procedures have changed. So all members of staff, all members of the royal family will be aware what the policies and procedures are, the revised policies and procedures. It can be said that Buckingham Palace is becoming more and more clever in pleasing everyone. Despite standing up to Meghan's defense, the palace did not forget to compensate its staff. Experts believe this is a method of appeasing both sides so that the royal family can benefit. In the near future, the queen is likely to send another olive branch to Harry and Meghan to prevent the couple's royal burning interview with Oprah Winfrey. An invitation to Balmoral Castle with the Queen might change the Sussexes mind. It is known that this is a good opportunity for the former royal couple to re-establish their fractured family relationship. The Queen will probably invite more William and Kate to the castle to open a cozy conversation, rebuild the relationship for William and Harry. This is a great plan. However, those are just speculations on my part. Do you have any other solutions for the royal family to stem the backlash from Harry and Meghan? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. See you in the next videos. See ya.